Triz is a method that helps you focus and utilize your expertise to its maximum efficiency when you face a challenge. BioTriz is a consultancy which addresses challenges in research, management, design and engineering. We improve the quality, effectiveness and efficiency of your business. Every day all sorts of problems challenge us. Some are easy to solve, others are harder. In this film we're about to see an illustration of the algorithm for inventive thinking that can lead us to the breakthrough solution. Problem definition. Is it really a problem? What if we face a challenge that looks absolutely impossible to be resolved? Instead of searching for solutions randomly in all directions by a trial and error approach, we apply systematic algorithm for the search of the solution. So, let's define our challenge. Is it really a problem? What does your problem look like? Are there existing solutions? If they are not suitable, then why? Once we've defined a problem, why not start from the end, from the solution itself? To narrow our search, we need to formulate our ideal final result. Here are a few questions which should prompt you to the correct answer. 1. What do I really want? A device? 2. A function? 3. A result of the function? 4. An impression of the result? Ideally, all useful things should appear by themselves and all undesirable effects should eliminate themselves. Imagine such a miracle. What will it look like? At this point, we have an illustration showing that there may be various contexts in which you could consider your challenge, here shown through different coloured segments. You need to understand where, when and how the problem affects you. Depending on the context, we have different views on the ideal final result. In some contexts, we hit the target, but it is not necessarily the bullseye. And in some contexts, we hit an obstacle. When we hit an obstacle on our way to the goal, we say, here is a problem. There are also contexts under which your problem might not even arise at all. Now let's create the conditions in which your ideal final result becomes possible. We can rearrange the resources which are available to us so that we can achieve our goal. The resources for change are the properties of objects that are included in your problem area. Just like the heaviness of the hammer helps us to hit the nail into the wall. Even the object that causes a problem can be used as a resource. Now we need to state clearly what exactly does not allow us to modify the resources in a desirable way. For example, I need something big and small at the same time. Or, I need A, but B gets worse. I want it large, but it gets heavier. The conflict between what properties of an object you want to improve and what properties do not allow such an improvement represents the model of a problem. The sharper the conflict, the more impossible the resolution looks. Win-win solution only looks impossible until we turn a fence into a ladder. Now we are at the solution finding stage. To eliminate the key conflict, you must separate the contradicting properties in time and space. Also, you may turn the obstacle into benefit using 40 inventive principles. The alphabet for inventive thinking. And please do remember that to interpret the inventive principle into actual solution, your own creative input and expertise is required. The algorithm for invention stimulates and directs thinking process, making it efficient, but does not substitute an inventor. You may generate solutions at each steps of the algorithm. So, at the end of the process, we usually have several solution concepts to consider. Once you have chosen the solution that matches your desired result, try and find another application for your invention. Make the most of it. To learn more about Triz, go to our website www.biotriz.com.